well, shooters and reloaders, and three circles, passengers and members. It's 42 45LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express. And you know we had two cords of firewood delivered right here. And two cords of firewood's a lot of wood. We have to move it to the firewood shed in the backyard. So the family spent the last two days moving that wood and I was able to help them out. Well, Trisha tried to get uh, some other local boys to help move that wood, but they had better things to do on Saturday morning. And besides, the uh, pay scale wasn't big enough, wasn't, the pay scale wasn't good enough to uh, encourage them to help out. That's okay, so we did it, got it done. So there is the two cords of wood in the firewood shed we got moved in there. That shed will hold three cords. But what really helped to move that wood the 200 feet from the driveway to the backyard here was the use of that John Deere tractor and uh, the little trailer. That really helped out. Anyway, we got the job done. Well, what's that got to do with shooting and reloading? Well, just like that small mountain of firewood logs, imagine that this was full. This is a nut jug from Costco. And that's a lot of cast bullets. Well, it's foreboding to look at that and say, wow, I've got to run all those through the size or lubricator. And just like we have to move the firewood logs, there's a lot of them in there. Well, the lesson is get it done because if you don't get it done, it's going to sit there and be a problem. So once the job is done, you get the satisfaction of, of uh, having done a great job. Plus, you'll get the fun of shooting these and the greatness of the fireplace logs that, that are burning and we'll get a lot of heat and warmth out of that this winter. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. Uh, living up here in the Washington State area. And today's video, we have to reload specially for the policies of the new range we're going to be going to. For example, they only allow standard cartridges to be fired at the 15 yard line and in. Well, what does this mean? Well, that's why I specifically bought these buried bullets, they're 125 grain berries plated 357 38 caliber bullets that are hollow points for target shooting. And you can't shoot these faster than 1250 feet per second. So I'm going to load these to around 1000 feet per second, 38 special loads to shoot at the 15 yard line at that range. There you see those fine berry bullets and these are the standard plating so it's three thousandths of an inch thick plating and we can't shoot those at very high velocity 1250 feet per second is supposed to be the maximum but I think we're better served if you just go ahead and stay around a thousand feet per second. Now Berries makes this lead a little bit on the hard side because the problem is if they use soft lead and then plate that, then any damage to the soft lead will make the plating just flake right off. So they're going to use a little bit harder lead. And in fact, if you try and take these and do the fingernail test, they're hard. You can't dent this. And what that means is you're not going to get a lot of expansion, maybe a little bit, but in order to get this to expand, you got to shoot at pretty high velocity, which you can't do because of the plating. So we don't expect these to expand much at a thousand feet per second. You might get that nose to come out to full caliber. But as to getting a classic mushroom, probably not going to get that without boosting these up to about 
1575 feet per second or so, and that's no good. But for our purpose of range shooting, recreational shooting, field shooting, this would be just fine. And these bullets are economical enough that we can shoot a lot of them and not uh, have any problems overspending. Now, for this range session, we're going to use Winchester Auto Comp powder. It's a modern powder, generates lots of gas, ball powder, and uh, made for competition. Meter as well through a powder measure and really works well for calibers like 38 Super, 9mm, 45 ACP, are auto calibers. That's why it's called Auto Comp, competition powder for automatic pistols. But it does work well also for 38 Special. And CCI standard 500 small pistol primers. We're going to use Remington Peters nickel plated brass. So to keep this video on the shorter side, we used the Lyman full-length resizing die, 38 Special Caliber, 357, to size the cases and decap them. Then we went ahead and neck expanded, mouth flared with the Lyman M die. Then we used the Lee Ram Prime to go ahead and prime those cases. So. We're ready for powder charging. And here's the last one. You're seeing this the same time I'm seeing it. So after we made a little tiny adjustment, now we're just a hair heavy. But I think you'll agree that looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy to weigh the Auto Comp powder meters through the Redding 3BR powder measure. I like it. Ready to go to the 15 yard line at the new range that I'm going to attend. Bye for now.